Here we have a 2014 Yamaha YZF R125. Uh, this is a Cat N bike, uh, previously repaired. It had a small damage. Cat N is the smallest category uh, of the damage group. Uh, this is a Cat N and has been fully repaired by the previous owner. Still got some uh, scratches and marks, which I'll run you through in a minute. The bike, as you've heard for the past two minutes, it runs fine. There are no knocks or bangs from the engine. Uh, you've got an aftermarket Lextech exhaust which which spits out fire if you rev it uh, Starts good rides good goes through gears fine a very nice bike It's got the picture of the miles. I can't actually remember from the top of my head. I think it's about 22,000 it has uh, coming uh, To mention the good points and then I'll run through to the bad points starting with the good you've got short levers which match the fairing colors. You've got aftermarket grips. You've got carbon fiber uh, dipped uh, side fairings, boomerangs. You've got genuine carbon fiber uh, chain guard. You've got genuine carbon fiber rear mud guard. This is the first time I see genuine carbon fiber on a Yamaha YZF R125. Very expensive stuff, very nice looking stuff. And of course it's lightweight. Um, You've got the legs tech exhaust and it's got scratches here. I think that's the reason why it's category N. It had a small damage uh, uh, crash, which you have scratches here on this side. Again, you've got the uh, carbon fiber dipped, I'd say, boomerang on the left and on the right. You've got double bubble tinted front screen on the bike. Good front tires to mention. You've got carbon fiber, genuine carbon fiber. Uh, front sprocket guard again this is the first time i see on the yamaha r125 the chain is good it's not brand new but it's a good chain on it you've got brand new back tires still got the flakes on it as you can see i don't know if you can pick it on the camera 2014 model and you have a tail tidy um, genuine standard uh, indicators you've got the rear pegs as well a lot of people remove them just to make the bike look bigger and what else do we have extras to mention that'll be it for the extras you've also got here the guard for the usually use this as a radiator guard which it is a radiator guard that's the first time i see it on the r125 as well a lot of stuff that are new then uh, we've sold a lot of r125 and this is the first time we see them on the, on the r125 which is a really good thing what else to get to coming to the bad points Oh, one of the other good points, you've got the LED rear tail light. Looks very stylish. And moving on to the bad points, you've got one line crack here. I don't know if you can pick it on the camera. You've got scratches, you've got a graze here of scratches. Again, you've got the scratches on the uh, Lexex exhaust. You've got some scratches here. I think this one you can see on the camera. Scratches here, some scratches here and the front seems clean there are no marks or scratches you've got one line crack here on the fairing saying all that the fairings is really secure and the, the previous owner was riding it as it is so it is very secure to commute on the bike if you were looking to commute or ride it to day to day there are no scratches or marks on this side there's no scratches or marks here even here there's no marks or scratches very nice bike very clean that tire is brand new you've still got the Residue on the, the tire the glue they put for the tire to fit them in uh, Again that exhaust spits fire even though it's got these scratches in on this side I'm not sure if you can repair it or just replace it But the exhaust is there you can just take it off and buy a new one to slip it on uh, You've got the bottom pipe for it. You just need to change the uh, end pipe all the indicators work all the light work low beam high beam work uh, indicators all functional the only light, which is the side light, you've seen the blue one here. That blue side light here is not working. You can buy them from Halfords, they're about three quid, uh, but it's not in, uh, it's, it's road legal and you can ride it as it is without it, if you choose to. Uh, you've also, just a reminder, if you're riding this on L plates, please put L plates at the front and L plates at the back. Uh, police will give three points for each L plate missing on the bike. So please remember, to put your oil plates on the bike. Bike starts, uh, rides fine, and it's ready to ride away. That'll be it for me. Thank you very much.